Okay, so today we will be doing um, this 2008 number three. In this problem, you, you can use a calculator because it's old enough that the number three you could use a calculator, not that you do like any actual calculus on the calculator. But anyway, so I have this written right here, this little, um, for the Taylor polynomial. Um, but you should know that anyway. I mean, you're taking Calc BC. But, um, so let H be a function having derivatives of all orders X is greater than zero. Selected values of h and its four derivatives are indicated in the table above. The function h and these four derivatives are increasing on the interval where x is 1 to 3. Now I underline this are increasing because you will see that it will become pertinent later on in the problem. Okay, part a. Write the first degree Taylor polynomial for h about x equals 2 and use it to approximate h of 1.9. Is this approximation greater than or less than h of 1.9? <clears throat> So, and then explain your reasoning. So that's where this whole little thing is going to come in handy. Now it's important to, this chart is honestly kind of confusing. I mean, not really, but like you could make a mistake on it easily because you might just think of using like, this is the first derivative, this is the second, this is the third and use that. But you need to import, like acknowledge that it's saying X equals two. So the chart that we're going to be using is right here. We're going to be using all of this row right here. So by using our thing, we see first, all we do is h of c. So we're going to do 80 plus, okay, our first derivative is 128. Now remember that it's about, can you even see that? Ew, I'm using a pen, sorry. Okay, so 80 plus 128. Now we have our formula, x minus c, well our c is 2, x minus 2. And it says um, a first degree Taylor polynomial, so we have p of 1 right here. And if we do P1 of 1.9, you put that into your calculator. Um, I'm not going to, show you, going to show you how to do that because this is no calculus on a calculator. All you do is literally put 1.9 into here. It's basic algebra. And then you will be getting 67.2. Now make sure you do you don't do absolute values, um, that might be tempting, but then you're going to end up getting, this won't turn negative and you're going to get 80 plus something when you should be getting 80 minus something, as you can see by the fact that 67.2 is obviously less than 80. Okay, now second part of the question, is this approximation greater than or less than h of 1.9? Okay, well we know that if the derivatives are increasing, then it has to be, this approximation has to be less because, think, if this were getting like if you're think if you're if it's decreasing then you're going to be getting smaller and smaller but the derivative here is increasing so we're going to say p1 of 1.9 is less than the actual value of h of 1.9 cuz remember this is an approximation this is a taylor like taylor polynomials are often used to approximate things as it says approximate what do you know because h prime is increasing. Okay, now part B. Write the third degree Taylor polynomial for H about X equals two. So we're still about X equals two, which means we're still gonna use this row right here. Doesn't even look like we're tapping into this one row with this three row. Maybe they put it there to trick you. Thanks college board. Okay, so here we have write the third degree Taylor. So P sub three, of x, whereas this was p sub 1. So continuing using this thing, we already know what the first part is going to look like clearly because we could just add on to what we had here, 80 plus 128. Can you see this? Oh, hopefully, okay. x minus 2. Now, this is where things get tricky because up until here, theoretically, I'm gonna write this in pencil, we were, remember, we need to, we can't forget these n factorials. Theoretically, this was over zero factorial over one factorial, but these both are one, so we didn't notice it. Now, we're gonna continue with this derivative right here, 488 over three, and I like to write it all in the numerator. You could throw that three at the bottom, but I don't like to do that because I find that you could make errors more often. X minus two, now remember, we're gonna bring it to the n, so we're using this, bring it to the n squared, and this is where you could easily make a mistake. This needs to be over two factorial. Now the next one, it says third degree, this is second degree, we gotta go up another one. 
4, 48 over 3. Now we're over 3 factorial. Don't be neglecting that 3. That would just be dumb. Well, it's not 3. It's a 6. 3 factorial. Okay. X minus 2 cubed. Good job. Okay. Now... And use it to approximate h of 1.9. So p3 of 1.9 equals, and the same thing here, you're gonna all you're going to do is just like any function, plug this into there. Like I said, I will not be showing it on a calculator because this can be done on a scientific calculator, not that you're allowed to use them on the test anyway, but I'm not gonna waste my time plugging in a bunch of crap or stuff when you could literally just plug that in. So once you plug that in, make sure you're gonna do, you know, 1.9 minus two, 1.9 minus two, just plug that in, and the answer you will be receiving is 67.988. Now, I just wanna step back for a second. Say you didn't understand that the fact that the H prime was increasing made this an, a, a lesser approximation. You could do part B before doing part A and notice that the more degrees you go up, the fact that 67.988 is bigger than 67.2, and that would be enough to tell you, oh, the more um, I approximate, the further this, like the bigger this P sub of whatever is, the, the bigger it gets, therefore this has to be an under approximation. So that's an example of a time where you can skip part and go back based on more information that you solve in the problem. Such a good tip I just gave, okay. So we did this part, check, check. Now our last part. Use the Lagrange, or Lagrange, whatever, air bound to show that the third degree Taylor polynomial for h about x equals 2 approximates h of 1.9 with air less than whatever this 3 to the 10 to the negative fourth. Okay, so whenever I see Lagrange, you're just like freaking out like, oh my gosh, I hate that. But like, it's not that bad, honestly. Okay, so let's solve it. First, I always just like to write this, even if you already know it, it's just so nice to just have these things in front of you, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and then... We're having x minus, sorry, my phone was like getting a notification that I was like low battery, so let's get this done. Got to be under 10 minutes anyway, you know, for those points, okay. Um, so then n plus 1, we f we're we writing that um, equation for the Lagrange. Okay, so we know our m, so nice, we, we, we know it's like, you know, the max, the derivative of 1 after da da da, but guess what? You don't even need to take that derivative because this problem is so cool that like literally it's already there for you. So we know our m right here, let's just write this out. So 584 over 9 because that's our m, m to m right here in the chart, the fourth derivative. We need to go one derivative up. We had our third. This is a third degree polynomial as we're using third degree. Now we go up one fourth or go up to four. All makes sense. Perfect. Now our n value is three. So we're going to have 3 plus 1, 1 factorial. There you go. Now, for our x minus c value, we're going to have 1.9, because remember it's saying right here, 1.9, and minus 2. And then to the 3 plus 1. Now, if you put this into your calculator, which, like I said, this is algebra, so, you know what, I'll show you, just to show that you could do it because you know here 584 oh and this is a good moment to show you actually if you don't know how to do factorial especially the t89 is kind of annoying but it's good that i'm actually showing it so you could push this little diamond in this um push the diamond while you hit the D divided sign and that'll give you factorial. I actually had to google that like not gonna lie It's pretty hard to just know that on your own and then we're gonna have The absolute value of 1.9 minus 2 which I know to be 0.1 I don't want to put an absolute value in Because it just takes time to go under catalog and all that stuff and then 3 plus 1 is 4 And here I'm going to get and oh this is actually a good learning moment. Okay, so as you can see this shows 0 0.0027, and even though that's less than the 3 or whatever, I if you, you want to get more decimals generally, so I you just push the top and push enter, and it'll give you all the numbers. Man, I should just, like, teach a calculator class. Okay. So, and then you're going to get for your answer 2.7037 times 10 to the negative 4, which 
we know to be less than 3 times 10 to the negative fourth. There you go. There's your answer. There's your reasoning. Good job.